Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today I am with this gun, I am going to shoot anybody who... T- <laughs> so today's video is on Pitru Paksh, Pitru Paksh has started from 24th, oh my god this gun is shaking. <laughs> Okay, so the other day I was seeing this gun, which is, I don't know, it's gun or a rifle or whatever you say. This was there in my room from long, but yesterday when I was having a look at this and I was thinking that Pitru Paksha started, I got some amazing lessons from this gun, this rifle, this this warrior. You know. <laughs> so I thought, why not let's share that? And of course, it is a time when we pay our obeisances and our reverential our all, all our prayers and our desires we offer them to our ancestors that is why the month this month is very special this month is very holy this month is very auspicious but today we will see what this gun has in store to teach us all right and we will also see what are the different remedies which we can do during the pitru baksh and there you go if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up or else i will kill you <laughs> and you can share it with somebody who is interested in knowing what to be what should be done during pitru paksh and if you want a consultation from me regarding your horoscope then go to my website and book a reading or else this gun <laughs> And before I begin, as I say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. I will just put the camera down. Ah, now it is fine. Okay, so let's see what's there with the gun. Do you see this? It's very heavy. Now you might be thinking, why the hell am I using this gun on a Pitru Paksh video? What do you think? If you know why I'm using this, then pause the video and write it in the comments. Let me see how much uh, how much your brain can relate, how much your brain can connect things. Well, the reason why I am using this gun is because yesterday when I was looking at this, then I was seeing that there are many bullets which can come inside this. Yes, and one bullet is this long. And if you shoot it, the person dies once for it all. <laughs> but then I was thinking that once the bullet is finished, then you put another bullet. It, it is not like the automatic uh, rifles which is there, which are there today that you put a big barrel and then it keeps going da 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 da. Like it's not like that. This is only one at a time. All right. You put one, you fire, and then you put another one. I was thinking that our life in this material world is also like that. This rifle is like the material world. <laughs> and then we are like our desires. Uh, this material body is like those bullets. Yes. And we are like catching and th- we, are sh- we are shooting. We are shooting anywhere. I want to become the president. I want to become the prime minister. I want to become the most beautiful girl in the town or the most attractive person in the room or whoever we want to become. But then what is happening? Again, this material nature is reloading and then we are again die. But this is an endless process, you see. This is going on and on and on and on and on. Yes, this is going on and on. Oh my God, this is so heavy. (laughs) You see this? But an intelligent person will ask this question that how to stop this process? Yes. Any intelligent person will ask. Suppose there is a game where there are two rules. Should I repeat? There is a game with two rules. The first rule is you can never win the game. Alright. The second rule is you can never stop. (laughs) So will you play the game? Should I repeat? Will you play the game? If you can never win it, nor can you stop. Will you enter in that game? An intelligent person will not enter. Right. Of course, a fool will enter thinking that, oh, yes, I will have a good time with this game. But an intelligent person knows that this is a futile endeavor. Materialistic life is like that. When I say materialistic life, it does not mean that our daily activities or our responsibilities. But our desire for enjoyment, 
as lord krishna says in the gita kamat krodho bhijayate that lust the word lust does not only mean sexual desire it represents all our desires for materialistic enjoyment which gives us an unlimited level of hope that we will always be happy in this material world always that is never fulfilled because the soul can never be satisfied with material things it can get pleasure sometimes pleasure from sex life pleasure pleasure from food pleasure from this pleasure from that but you will never feel that you are totally happy that will never happen because you cannot be satisfied with material objects alone all right so now the pitru paksh is coming where we pray to our ancestors for blessings but before that we need to understand why at all is this concept there pitris are who they are our ancestors our father our grandfather great grandfather they and they reside in the pitru loka of course depending on their consciousness of course not every body resides there but we have to understand that the great test benefit we can do them do to them is to stop this cycle of birth and death yes our life should not become like this gun that we are shooting again we are reloading shooting reloading shooting reloading okay oops my father was knocking at the door okay so basically the greatest thing we can do to the pitris is we can liberate ourselves and themselves but the question is how do we liberate ourselves and not only ourselves but themselves also go to the shrimad bhagavatam 7th canto prahlad maharaj chapter narsing dev lord narsimha says do you know who lord narsimha is oh my god you don't know no problem i'll tell you narsing dev is one of the avatars of lord vishnu nara simha nara is human being simha is lion so he had incarnated to kill the demon if you know the demon then write it in the comments who was that great demon who he killed <laughs> great demon okay so hiranyakashyap was the father of lalad maharaj and narsingh dev appeared and ripped the stomach of hiranyakashyap apart because he was very powerful i'll not go into those details that nobody could kill him but the point is there we come to know when we read that narsing dev blesses pralad maharaj that wh- whoever practices spirituality very seriously strongly like pralad maharaj not like anybody like pralad maharaj he is very fortunate because i deliver 21 generations above and below should i repeat i deliver 21 generations above and below so then you know this this gun will stop my lord <laughs> this gun will stop them not only it will stop for us it will stop for our ancestors also so instead of going to holy places and doing some kind of rituals for pitru parks giving them this this donation doing this doing that all those things you can do it's perfectly fine you can go to varanasi i am also going to varanasi by the way you can do whatever you want all the rituals but the most important thing is you should read scriptures like the bhagavatam then you will understand who god is then you will get a desire to go to god and then antakale chamame vas maran muktva kalevaram as lord krishna says in the gita that the point of desire that you have at the end of your life decides your next birth all right otherwise if you are thinking of your spouse your beautiful wife or your handsome husband or your rich husband <laughs> or your children mama papa then what will happen punarapi jananam punarapi maranam punarapi jananam punarapi maranam <laughs> it's a very famous shloka you will take birth you will die your life will become like this gun die 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 you are shooting you are shooting everywhere except the place where you should shoot such a useless waste of time the bhagavat shrimad bhagavatam says sharama eva hi kevalam any activity which does not please lord vishnu is sharama eva hi kevalam 
which means a useless waste of time not even time useless wasteful endeavor because endeavor means you have already spent time doing something all right so we need to read scriptures like bhagavatam reading bhagavatam is very important it is paramount you cannot undermine the importance of this book so when we read those books then we can understand that there's much more to life beyond material things now that doesn't mean that we go to the forest and we take sanyas sanyas is not uh, mandatory but we should cultivate spiritual knowledge inside our home that's very important when we are back from our office then instead of going on switching on the tv and seeing saas bahu serials yes kyunki saas bhi kabhi bahu thi kahani ghar ghar ki hai koi kahani nahi hai sab ki ek hi kahani hai sab barbaad hai sab bekar hai <laughs> this no story the story is the same everybody is bored they are watching tv is there they are so freaking bored <laughs> people message me i have everything but still i'm bored yes one of my gurus once said that in usa there was a research where uh, 5% uh, where people said that 5% of the times they were happy 5% of the times they were unhappy and what about the remaining 90% they are simply bored so instead of going to pubs and artificially trying to pretend to yourself that you are happy by you know, ding ka chika ding ka chika ding ka chika <laughs> कितना बेवकूफ़ बनाएंगे सर अपने आप को हाउ मच विल यू फूल योर सेल्फ दे इज़ अ लेवल बियॉन्ड विच यू कैनॉट फूल योर सेल्फ बाई इंडल्जिंग इन ड्रिंकिंग वाइन एंड ईटिंग मीट येस यू थिंक यू आर वेरी हैप्पी नो द सोल इज क्राइंग यू 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 नो दैट यू आर नॉट हैप्पी इन साइड यू नो दैट इट डजन वर्क दैट वे ऑल राइट सो वी स्टे इन आवर नॉर्मल लाइफ वी डू ऑल आवर ड्यूटीज ऑल आवर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज and then we also read scriptures like this shrimad bhagavatam especially during the pitrupaksh we should read the seventh canto all right i will give a link to the seventh canto here and if you want to purchase the whole set on amazon that also you can do that link also i'll give you below so it's very important and then when we remember god at the end of our life then lord krishna says in the gita that yad gatva na ni vartante tadham paramam mama he says this which means that once you reach my abode you will not come back when we remember god at the end of our life we obtain him and then we do not take birth again and then what happens 21 generations above and below they also get chance to practice spiritual life so that is the greatest thing you can do apart from doing silly things like oh giving these giving that you do all those things there's no problem but that this is the bigger umbrella everything else is beneath that all right otherwise if you go on offering things in the water to this to that you can do all those your pitris will get something of course that is also your responsibility that also you should do that you can consult your pandit or your local authorities or whatever is there in your tradition that is different as per traditions i will not go into that specifically because that will be a necessary long video but i am saying there is an umbrella underlying that everything is should be beneath that all right so if you have not started reading scriptures like the gita or shrimad bhagavatam then please start reading it at least now <laughs> all right so when you when you start reading then you will understand that where is the problem exactly the problem is not money the problem is not relationships the problem is see the problem is not material actually people say na that we will solve this problem that problem but they cannot solve it why because they do not know that it is because they think that this is the problem but the problem is that is not the problem <laughs> then what is the problem the problem is <laughs> the problem is that you are thinking that you will be ever happy in this material world that itself is the problem that is the root cause of all problem you see so what's the solution solution is look to god do spiritual activities yes and then apart from that you can also chant this mantra of lord narsing dev om namo bhagavate shri narsimhaya this mantra you can chant should i repeat once again om namo bhagavate shri narsimhaya om namo bhagavate shri narsimhaya om namo bhagavate shri narsimhaya this mantra you can chant or any other vishnu mantra also you can chant 
you can chant mantras for Vaman Dev also. Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Vamanaya. Or you can chant mantras for Lord Ram. Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Ramachandraya. Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. 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 Or you can chant mantras for Krishna. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. That you can chant. Or any other Vishnu mantra which you feel like chanting, you can chant. All right. And these mantras, which I have just chanted, they do not need any initiation or anything like that. Whoever you are, you are from India, you are from Pakistan, you are from Uganda, whichever, whatever you are, you can just chant it, okay? Nothing doing. Later on, you take initiation formally from a guru, okay? So, that is what I would say. And during the Pitrupaksh, it's very good if we can abstain from wrong habits like watching pornography or eating meat or indulging in wine or indulging in discussing the useless rubbish garbage of this world <laughs> like discussing who is having an affair with who yes who is who is going to uh, get married oh my god everybody is interested in marriage right actually nobody is interested everybody is interested in masala everybody needs spice oh somebody is getting married to whom oh. <laughs> such a waste of time they are getting married why are you so much interested let them get married let them be happy or miserable what, what, what aapka kya ja raha hai sir <laughs> lekin aapko bhi masala chahiye to aap bhi usme ghus rahe hai oh kisse shaadi hua kisse shaadi nahi hua isse karo usse karo are jaane de be <laughs> abhi jaane de yaar kiski shaadi ho rahe baad mein jaye doob mare sab log aap to jaiye you practice spiritual life let the world go to hell let everybody go to hell <laughs> okay but you do not leave your spiritual practices and whatever you are doing during the during your normal days intensify it get up 15 minutes earlier during this pitru paksh get up this one month nothing doing get up earlier if you are getting up at 5 get up at 4:30 take a bath in the morning take your mala and start shri ram jay ram jay jay ram shri ram jay ram jay jay ram start <laughs> Again, you you can chant all these mantras one one round whichever mantras i have said okay and then after chanting the mantras you can read the scriptures and then in the evening you can again go to some holy place or to some retreat or whatever it is yes and you can also pray to the ancestors that please help me practice spirituality more intensively then your children will be blessed your son your daughter yes everybody will be blessed otherwise they will simply go for doing a masters abroad and then they will forget you after some time oh my god <laughs> okay so read that past time of nursing dev and pralad maharaj and i will not speak much on that because most of the people know and we will speak more on that when we speak on bhagavatam but as of now that is sufficient okay so 21 generations above and below one short remedy nothing doing there you go if you like this video which i am very sure you would have liked then please click the thumbs up or else i will find you and i'll rip you apart with this gun okay and if you want a consultation then please go to my website and book a reading if you mail me or if you send me a message in whatsapp i'll also again shoot you with this gun i'm very bad today okay until next time utilize the pitru paksh properly and help your ancestors and help yourself and help your descendants and everybody else okay until next time god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him or else i'll find you with this gun okay bye bye see you